Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. In the past few days, I am getting so many messages related to IOC interview pattern. So I thought that it will be better if someone who is working in IOC here, if they explain to you about the interview pattern, then it will be really well helpful to you. So next few minutes, one of my friend who is presently working in IOC here will going to explain you the interview pattern and what are the guidelines you need to follow during your interview and even before entering into the interview also. So hope this session will be useful to you. I completed my B.Tech from Lakhred Diwali College of Engineering in Mailavaram in Krishna district. Um, in uh, 2011 passed out. Then after mm -hmm. I joined in, actually uh, at that time my gate rank was 425. So with that uh, rank also I have attended for IOSL interview, but I could not crack the interview. So with that score I joined in uh, NAD Tirichi of uh, M.Tech as a power, in power system. Then after that, also in uh, while studying the first year, also I gave gate exam, in which I scored uh, all India rank of 162. Then again, I appeared for the IOCL interview and uh, BHL interview, but unfortunately, I have not cracked those also. So then again, uh, after uh, uh, meanwhile, while pursuing my uh, tech itself, I got selected for AP Trans. Then I joined in uh, AP Trans as assistant engineer. Uh, so even though after joining the my job, also I continued to prepare for ES and uh, GATE exam. Then I have appeared again. Then uh, last my GATE last rank was uh, 200. So with this rank, I have again given interview to IOCL and uh, fortunately I cracked it. And then I joined IOCL in 2015. Actually, while uh, at the time of so my B.Tech final year, my clear intention was to do Masters only. Due to pressure from my uh, well-wishers and guardians and family members, <laughs> I just appeared for the interview. Although I gave my best, but at that time, uh, uh, even though if you get a good rank, it does not it won't guarantee that you will crack the interview. It depends upon the number of vacancies also. And the moment of, and uh, how you have performed for that 15 to 30 minutes. Even though you get a rank below 100, it is not necessary that you will be selected. It doesn't it won't comprise of a personal interview itself. After this personal interview, there will be group discussion also. In that group discussion, uh, group discussion will be there, and as well as uh, group tasking will be there discussion they will give uh, they will give one particular topic to a group of uh, 10 members and they will ask ask to uh, discuss and then there will be group tasking in group tasking they will give you you uh, means it is just like a scramble sentence but it won't be that simple uh, they will give you some some 10 statements 10 statements uh, uh, regarding to uh, regarding to some particular industry or suppose suppose particular company then they will ask what is the uh, importance of the statement and what is the priority of these statements means uh, the 10 statements will be in a different order so and they will ask you 10 people as a group to make, to make the prioritize these uh, statements Definitely, it is a myth because uh, uh, once you uh, once you are into the interview, the interviewer won't see whether you are from IIT background or NIT background. For him, you are just a candidate who has scored, a, who has cleared a gate and appeared for an interview. Obviously, it it, it uh, might have some sort of advantage, means some sort of uh, like a soft corner in the interviewer uh, mind. Okay, he is from IIT background, means he is little bit uh, intelligent like that. At the, at the end of the day, your selection for I, inter, uh, selection for this IOCL or any company depends upon your GATE score and your interview purpose. So, uh, to be in any PSU company to crack any interview, it is not mandatory. It is not at all necessary to be an IITN or an ITN.
technical questions yes it is not also not sure that they will go they will go very means they will ask you very high five questions you might you might ask uh, uh, if there is a core member in the panel or a subject uh, member in the panel he might ask what are the subjects you are interested in that also he, he won't ask you means uh, since you are from the uh, college college you just passed out from the college don't think that he will ask a, a very uh, uh, tough question like that just it would be a, a little bit tricky in the sense it, it won't be a direct question as it is given in an exam it would be a little bit tricky So you have to understand it and answer it. So the main thing is uh, before before telling any uh, means suppose if you are prepared for that means if you want to say any one particular subject as your core, you should be very thorough, very thorough in that, especially in the basics. Suppose if you if you want to say power system protection as my favorite as your favorite subject, then first of all. You should be in a condition to explain what is power system protection in a detailed way. Should be a mix of both the question, but uh, not depend upon the practicality in the industries. As since you are as a, if you are a fresher, since you don't have any industry experience, so they won't expect that much from you. But if you are if you have uh, if you have working experience, then they definitely will. ask from that point of view uh, consider me me itself uh, since i was working in uh, ap transportation corporation at the time of my interview they asked me to correlate uh, this electricity as uh, with uh, my ioc so i simply explained in the electricity department there will be three uh, three branches means uh, in the uh, means branches in sense one is generation one is transportation and another is distribution So similarly, I have compared this one with IOC like this. IOC will also contain three different sectors. One is refining, means which generates oil, which means in the in our in our point of view, which generates the oil. And next one is pipelines, means it will which will transmit the oil. And next one is distribution network, which will uh, marketing marketing uh, sector, which will distribute the oil to customers. So I come. So I am explained in this way. and they were happy you can prepare like this first of all what is power system protection means what is the significance of this power system protection uh, what comprises of this power system protection means what power system com- system protection comprises of what elements and all and then coming to the next means elements in the sense this i can explain power system protection means See, suppose there is a system means it is nothing but a group of or collective things. In our in our power in our case, it is nothing but uh, generation, the power generation and power utilization. In between, there would be some transmission net transmitting network. The mm-hmm. power system protection means now I am protecting only these three. I am protecting mm-hmm. my generators, generation sources. I am protecting my loads and I am protecting the transmitting uh, transmitting equipments. so this is this is what power system protection usually do the and uh, in this power system protection usually these three elements they have uh, their own characteristics see suppose if the if it is a generator you can see what is basic thing with what what the generator will do what are the types of generators what are the uh, parameters for this generator and what are the protections available for this generator if someone has done such a wonderful project then uh, there is no need to worry for to worry for him because it would be on his uh, it would be on his fingertips his or her fingertips so yeah. that they can it would be an added advantage if they ask yeah. about that if you have any job experience they will ask the questions about your job means what you have learned from your job how you have uh, been involved in your job one more major one more major question means common question uh, suppose if you have any work experience then they will definitely ask why you are leaving that company and in my case this this stressed me means they stressed on this point like something to me uh, since uh, this transmission corporation is a state of psu 
and that too in my own state they were asked from many point of views why you want to leave this company as this is your this is also your core job and this is your uh, in your uh, home state and this is also psu state psu so you have to convince them all convince them means if you have, if you were appointed or if you uh, means if you get selected you will definitely join in ioc you have to convince them then only they will consider you if not select uh, simply selecting you it won't serve their purpose first thing keep in mind before going to the interview you have to keep all your certificates ready this is very mandatory because uh, be prior to attending interview first of all your certificates will be verified all uh, your means your uh, date of birth starting from your date of birth gates score card and what are all so you should be very careful about this and after the verification of these certificates uh, it would be personal interview round first first round would be personal interview uh, it will it consists of a panel mainly from 3 to 4 members uh first of all they will ask a normal question routine question introduce about yourself and then they will they will go into the uh, interview subject it is not mandatory to start the interview with only technical only they will start from anywhere anywhere in the sense uh, that depends upon the mindset of the interviewer suppose uh, at this point if you are attending the interview they might sudden sudden uh, start the interview with uh, about the recent corona pandemic it's not mandatory if you are from a mechanical background explain me this pump not like that you can start from anywhere and main thing is suppose before attending the interview you just practice make uh, take uh, practice interview sessions you just see how what are your confidence levels how you are uh, how are you are how are you presenting yourself in front of the people uh, whom you have never interacted Uh, this gives uh, this will boost your confidence uh, if you take uh, a couple of interview sessions and uh, uh, so if you are so shy and all then at least uh, try talk, uh, talking in front of the mirror see how uh, see how your uh, facial expressions are while talking and main thing is uh, maintain proper eyesight eye contact who whom you are answering it is not means it's not like that if you someone has asked a question uh just ask just means look at him only matlab don't concentrate on that particular part just give a slight look of the all the panel members interviewer has asked you a question in particular topic in which you are not completely so rather than uh, means uh, rather than saying some nuisance or answers it is better mm-hmm. just to explain what you know about that that too if you have idea about that particular concept or uh, topic else you can just tell sorry sir i don't have idea about this once again i am telling you no need to get panic for the interview it is just like a review means suppose if you have watched any movie you will give you review in the same way interviewer will be taking your review so it depends upon how you are presenting yourself in front of him so no need to get panic they are there interviews or any company is there just to hire you they need they need people like you who cracked the gate and have good percentages and came through all these hurdles to interview level to interview level they are there to hire you only so no need to worry i wish you good luck and i wish all the students good luck to perform well in the interviews hope my I, i might see anyone in matra refinery also you enjoyed the section with bargo now let me conclude the topic if you are planning to attend for i was interview then you should remember six points first point is you need to prepare your cv means bio data very clearly because the panel members will have your cv before you reach the interview section so it is always advisable to write and include all your previous achievements and past records in the cv second point is irrespective of your branch of engineering whatever may be your branch of engineering a student should have thorough understanding about their core subjects apart from the core subjects particular student should have the knowledge about all other subjects whatever he studied in the uh, in their btech syllabus third point is 
come into selection process because as you are aware of uh, the situation now the selection process of iowa sale is a bit complicated and it is typical because it has a three different tasks the first one is interview and the second one is group discussion third one is group task so that's why to overcome the challenges in all these three tasks a student is advised to go for different mock interview sections before attending the final interview and coming to the fourth one whether work experience is really matter or not see if you are already experienced in any particular industry then it is always suggestible to have a beautiful articulation about your previous work experience and try to present 100% in front of the panel members suppose if you have if you don't have any work experience then it is better to go through about your project work as well as your industrial training if you have any and try to frame the sentences and everything which includes all the details of what project you have done i mean what are the components you used what are the achievements of that particular project and any important things you have done in your industrial training all these things you should be able to project in front of the panel member very clearly and the fifth one is language of communication many students used to ask this question commonly and regularly that whether we should speak in english or hindi see your language of expression that is not really important even if you are not fluent in hindi or even if you are not fluent in english that doesn't matter what is required is you should be very clear in what you are explaining to the panel members so that means clarity of information what you are explaining to the panel member that is important but not the language and coming to the sixth point be confident and at the same time don't be panic just go to the interview with a plain mind all the best